Hi, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Bria. Kevin Miller. I'm Bria and Kevin Miller. Um, so let's let's pick this topic like right off the phone. We'll be trying to decide what topics we want oh, yeah. to do. So we're about to look at the list right now. Yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and pick a topic. I'm going to say some good ones I feel like over the last couple of days. Okay. It's a lot of them. Oh, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's mm -hmm. see. What you think about this one? Can a man or woman? Okay, so we're just we're gonna go from here. We'll see. All right. So the topic is: Can a man or woman be kept? And then, do you want that part of it too? What's that? How long do, or how long should no. you wait? Okay, okay. That's a different topic. All right, so can a man or woman be kept? What do you mean specifically? By that, I mean, you know, they say, oh, you're not going to keep a man if you don't do X, Y, Z. Or, oh, you ain't going to keep a woman if you do X, Y, Z. Or you don't do X, Y, Z. So what what you think about that? When I think of being kept... Like, I know a lot of people, like, just even the idea of word, like, the word kept, it's almost like property. Not, don't look at it that way. Look at, look at it as, like, you being able to keep or stay in a relationship with somebody. That's what I mean by that. I think that you have to do things in order to maintain that relationship. So, in a sense, you do have to, I feel like you have to do certain things in order to be kept. Am I not this, understanding this, it? This is my thing about that that topic, I would say. So, to keep somebody, right? The question is, can somebody be kept? So, can a woman keep a man or can a man keep a woman? I'm going to say Well, tell no. me your, oh, why you say no. You cannot keep someone who does not want to be kept. That's true. You cannot keep someone that does not want to be kept. Therefore, it's nothing that you can do at all in order for you to keep that person. Like a lot of women probably think, or men too, they was in a relationship mm -hmm. with somebody, that person either cheated on them or broke up with them or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking like, damn, was I not, you know, this enough? Did I not do this? Was I yes. arguing too much? Was I... You questioning yeah. yourself, but it's not to question yourself. If you gave that person all of you, you did mm -hmm. all you thought that you should be doing in that relationship, that's not on you. Yeah. So you can't carry that with you. That's on that person. That person just did not want to be kept. They did not want to stay or be with you or I don't know. So then what do you say to people who are in those relationships who are trying to like do everything to satisfy that individual, but it's still not working out. Well, this is the thing, like when you first get with somebody, I'm pretty sure we didn't talk about this before, but it's like the foundation. What are y'all talking about and having conversations about? Mm -hmm. We have an understanding, no matter what goes on in our relationship, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we are gonna be together. She ain't gotta worry about me going out and doing X, Y, Z, or feel like we gonna get divorced, or, you know, we'll, we'll add that in as well. Like people getting divorced and trying to make the relationship work and shit like that. But it's like, what conversations are you having at the beginning of that relationship or even getting to know that person? Like, are y'all on the same page? Mm -hmm. Are y'all going to be moving in the same direction? Because a lot of shit can be solved. It's going to let you know in the beginning, like you cannot stay in a relationship with somebody who does not necessarily want to either be in that relationship or they're not giving you at your core what you need to be in that relationship? Or are you giving them at their core what they need, the bare minimum of what they require in a relationship? Are you giving that to them? Yeah, but like when you think about a marriage, mm -hmm. right? In a sense... This is apple juice, by the way, y'all. I'm not drinking for the whole month of January from the 1st to the end of January. We're not going to put no date on it. How about that? Okay. There we go. Let's just see, you know. I've been losing weight. Anyway, let's go. Stay no, but, okay. With that being said, 
in a marriage, mm -hmm. right? There are certain things that that we both have to do in order to keep each other. So in a sense, like someone can be kept. Like if you think about it, like in order to, for our relationship, no, mm -hmm. in order for our relationship to work, right? I, no, 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 I and you both have to compromise, right? Yeah. It is give and take, right? So there's certain qualities that you may not like, right? But we've had a discussion about it. And we've also discussed how we're going to like reach a resolution, right? In regards mm -hmm. to agree to disagree. Like you have your own opinion. I have my own opinion. It's okay to, do, uh, to agree to disagree. But in a sense, when you're in a marriage, there are certain things that you will do to be kept in that marriage. Would you not agree? Well, I would say just even a marriage relationship, it's all the same thing. A marriage it's taking it a step further, really intertwining y'all a little bit more than I would say just boyfriend and girlfriend. But it's all based on the same thing. It's a relationship. Yes. So with that, what, from my perspective, like there's nothing that you're going to be able to do to necessarily, first off, yes, there what, is. what you just said, yes, right? There listen, is. listen. Because listen. there's certain things that I'm going to have to exude in this relationship in order to, to keep you. Like, that's just like, okay, we're married, right? Listen. You're, listen to what I'm saying, though. You can be, first off, did y'all even have this conversation of, hey, you're not doing this enough or you doing too much of this? Are people having this conversation, number one? Then, let's just go back to being kept. You cooking, you cleaning, exactly. you giving sex, you doing everything, you yes. keeping your body up, you doing everything right right to to still to satisfy this relationship which also satisfies me at the same time so i still get self-fulfillment by see i know what the, i know no, listen there's this concept too though when you're married mm -hmm. right women have to be submissive right so it satisfies me to satisfy you right because I mean, our in happiness a, in is a intertwined or a marriage i think it should be both ways the woman is probably going to submit more to the man but at the same time like as a man in a relationship with a woman or whoever you in a relationship with it's it's got to be 50 50 or give and take like on both mm -hmm. sides so it can't just be one person putting in more effort than the other like men we have to we expect a lot out of women we expect a lot out of our woman but we got to give the same shit in return. Like, do them things that she like. You know, she might like kisses or hugs or flowers or... Love language. Yeah. No, That's what we need to do a video. Language, yes. Love language is, love language but... is really important. And honestly, people don't know their love language. You know, I had to learn his love language. And he's learning my love language. Like, it's still a progressive thing in our marriage where we're learning to make sure that we satisfy those desires and those needs according to our love language. But that's another topic. I was just about to say, it's like upkeep, right? So when you say, can a woman or man be kept, in a sense, it's like upkeep. Yes, that I feel like that person can be yes kept in a certain- no, from my perspective, no. This is why. We was just looking at Instagram and it was, um. Love and Hunts, Love and Marriage, Huntsville, right? Mm -hmm. And it's Martell and Melody, right? Yeah. That's a good show, by the way. Yeah. We were missing out on it, but y'all. I don't even know if they renewed it or out. anything like that. It was, yeah, Love and Marriage. I don't know if they renewed it or not. Anyway, but, but to, okay. to sum it up, the guy, he married, got a family, they got business together, all that, right? He had a side chick, got caught up, said he was going to leave the side chick alone. Wife took him back, you know, did it again, did it again, whatever the case may be, right? So now, what, like, the side chick's supposed to be pregnant or something like that? We don't know. That's... We ain't going to say speculate on that. But my point is not just singling these two people out. Because there's plenty of people. everybody got problems in their marriage yes. and stuff like that. What I mean by this, she has done everything in her power that mm -hmm. she may have felt like that she needed to do. They may have had a conversation. Okay, I'll work on this. We're working on this together. Mm-hmm. He still decided to go and mess with another woman. That is what I mean by you cannot keep someone who, who does, does not, not want, want to be kept. kept. Yes, I can a agree with that. A man or a woman is going to do what they want to do at the end of the day. So you got to take that shit in as, you know what? 
it ain't nothing wrong with me. Mm -hmm. I gave my all to this person. Yep. Now, your all for this person, that just might not be good enough. Or yep. they're just taking you for granted and not really yep. appreciating you. But I feel like a lot of people, men go through this too. I definitely want to talk about this one day, like how men are affected by women in relationships. We don't talk about that enough or men's happiness in relationships and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But it's more so in society or the world viewed as a woman gets done wrong by a man or after a breakup, the woman is feeling the maybe, victim. The woman is always the victim. Yeah, essentially. She's the one sad and crying and got a car.